Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you on how to use GPT Quiz Generator, specifically our new feature which utilizes handwriting in order to use that information and generate a quiz out of it. So starting off, you want to head to the three dots at the top right and then click on Get Add-ons. And from here, search up GPT Quiz Generator and it should be this one right here. And once you have downloaded it, you want to click out of here and then click on GPT Quiz Generator and then click on Start. From here, you want to first configure of how many questions you want and how many answers do you want. So I want a total of four questions and then I want one answer for each of the questions. And then after I'm done configuring that, I'm going to choose the 3.5 turbo model of GPT. And now you want to find a handwritten file. So I have found one file which talks about the brain. So here's the image right here. So I found this image that talks about parts of the brain and everything like that. So in order to actually select this, you want to click on load text from image and docs. And from here, it will ask you for a folder. But in order to select that image, you want to place it in your Google Drive. So what, what you can do is go to Google Drive. Once you have signed in, you want to click on, you want to right click and then click on file upload. And from here, you want to select the file that you want to upload to your Google Drive. And after you do that, you want to come back here and then click on select a folder. And from here, I'm going to choose root folder. And once I click on file, I should be able to see the image itself. Info about the brain parts JPEG. Once I select that, I'm going to click on load text. And after some time, it's going to it's going to generate all of the handwritten information. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to click on generate questions. And as you can see, it got the four question counts, one correct answer for each one of them. So now, once I do that, I'm going to click add questions to form. And after I do that, if I click off here, as you can see, it added all of the questions to my Google form itself. And this feature is actually really useful. You don't want to waste your time just typing in all of your information. You could just easily take a picture and then place it in here, which will, and it will automatically just write all of the information for you. And all you have to do is press several buttons.